One of the jobs of the shell is to hand over command line arguments uh, to the program that it invokes. So command line arguments are an array of strings and they usually tell the program what it has to do. Typical command line arguments may be file names, or path names to files, host names, URLs, usually names of objects that a Unix tool has to operate on. And uh, there are several processing steps involved to convert the uh, command line that you enter into the list of strings that gets handed over. Um, the most basic of these is that the command line will be split into words at uh, white space locations and then the first word is the command and subsequent words are the individual uh, command line uh, strings. Um, but there are a number of pre-processing steps. So for example, you can see if there's a space inside the file name that you want to hand over, then you have to escape that space by putting quotation marks around. Or if there are wildcard characters like the star found, then the shell will try to match this pattern here against the list of file names in the current working directory and then substitute uh, this wildcard expression here with all file names that match. We'll talk more about the uh, individual processing steps in the next lecture, but you can see here already that the um, syntax uh, that the shell supports here influences somewhat the conventions that are commonly used under Unix. So for example, it's customary on Unix systems to avoid white space characters inside file names uh, because otherwise this creates the inconvenience of having to use uh, quotation marks. This is different from other operating systems such as Windows where the uh, predominant way of entering a file name is just filling out a form field where space doesn't have any particular meaning. Um, this Pre-processing is also very different from how uh, Windows works. In Windows, the entire command line from the first character to the last character is handed over as a single string to the application. And then it's up to the application to decide how it splits the command into arguments, how it finds options in there. Whereas the splitting into an array of strings under Unix is performed by the shell. So if you have a certain syntax like what does star dot um, some extension mean, uh, you will have to read under Unix the shell to find out how this works, whereas in a Windows application you may have to read the manual of the relevant application because the application is doing this kind of expansion. <clears throat> There's a couple of uh, conventions how um, many Unix tools interpret these uh, command line arguments and that's what I want to talk here about briefly. Namely, um, I mentioned that um, many Unix tools can be tweaked. You can supply them with options and to distinguish these command line options from file names and other uh, object identifiers. A commonly used convention is that the options are represented by a hyphen followed by a single letter. So for example, the ls command normally outputs just the list of files in the current working directory. Minus l switches to a long format. Minus a um, adds in addition invisible files, files that start with a full stop. And minus t uh, sorts the files not by file name but by their last modified date. A common abbreviation that's supported by many applications is that you, if you have these single letter options, if the option doesn't have any additional file name uh, or other extension following it, then you can uh, contract them together by just writing minus LAT all the letters of the individual options. These single letter options may be a little bit difficult to 
read and understand for other people unless they're very familiar with them. So the GNU tools introduced another option, um, so-called a uh, long option name, and these are usually prefixed with two hyphens to distinguish them from um, the contraction of single letter options. So in many applications you can write either minus H to get a help screen or double hyphen help. And <clears throat> anything that is not an option is then usually a file name, host name, URL and similar. So what happens if you uh, have a file name that starts with a hyphen? Um, there's two ways to access these. One is many uh, tools have a special option, just double hyphen, that tells the tool to stop parsing for options at this point. So after the double hyphen, even if the word starts with a hyphen, it will be interpreted as a file name by the rn command. Another little trick to access files that start with a hyphen is to just prefix with a dot slash. Remember, dot is just a synonym for the current directory. So dot uh, prefixing dot slash to a path name doesn't really change where the path points. Sometimes you also find support for a special hyphen, a uh, special file name that consists only of a hyphen. And that means rather than writing into a file or reading from a file, the data should be taken from or sent to standard input and standard output instead. Um, one reason why so many people follow, so many tools follow the same convention is that uh, the standard C library has a library function called get opt that parses options out of the uh, list of command lines and many other programming languages have implemented something similar. The shell doesn't know anything about these command line options and these conventions for dealing with words that start with a hyphen. For the shell, these are all just um, words that are handed over to the application. 